let's now have a look at in the live environment because anyway that's what we're building into before we actually install be it on a virtual machine or directly on our hardware the good thing of the live environment is that you can have a, a look around uh, on a Linux Mint before installation. It's helpful to enable internet access uh, at this stage already. And uh, you should have in mind that uh, no setting or data that you might uh, change uh, is stored when you use the live system and uh, don't install uh, Linux Mint from here. All right, let's head over to our virtual machine. If you've changed your boot order and you selected to boot from your USB drive or your DVD, you would see this screen here at least briefly for 10 seconds. If you don't select another option, automatically this option here will be executed to start a Linux Mint. And we will do that now to show you here. And once in this system is started, you can see my screen here. All right, it automatically resizes and this is in the live environment where you can have a look around in the system. Okay, the display resolution is not optimal here at this stage, but you could still use it. Okay, and I said uh, you should make sure you have an internet connection. So open Firefox uh, on this live environment and go to any page you like. Okay, here if you load a page like this, it's fine. You're already connected to the internet. Okay, I will now uh, actually disconnect to show you uh, what it's like when you can load a page. Okay, you, you would see something uh, like this and then respectively here on in the bottom uh, right side, uh, click on uh, this icon and first of all, make sure your connection is, uh, your connectivity is even enabled. Okay, and then either a wired connection or a wireless network uh, connect to. If it's a wired network, obviously you just have to plug in the cable. If it's a wireless network, you select it here uh, from the list of networks that you see. Uh, like you can see here on my local machine, I'm connected to a, a wireless network. Uh, select one from the list and click on it. Give your uh, password to access in this uh, network. And a few seconds later, you should get a message that you're uh, connected and you can uh, reload in this page and see a respective internet page. Okay, you can have a look around, whatever you want here, see the file browser and uh, anything else, for example, in the uh, system settings, whatever you want. But please, as I said, have in mind that in this and that any change you make here would not be saved. This is really good to make yourself familiar with this new system. For example, to see if applications are there that you need or if you would want something different in any case. Uh, have in mind that all this can be obviously configured and changed uh, to your choices uh, once the system has been installed. And that's it for now for the live system. In the next video, we will look at the steps uh, we would have to do for the installation itself.